Alright guys, thanks for watching another episode of Minuteman Productions. Today I have an update review on my Sierra Bravo duty belt from 511 Tactical. Uh, I've been using this belt for at least over a year now, and it's served me very, very well. I have basically zero complaints with it. Um, I was using the Zero G plates with the belt, and I found out that my body style is too small and too thin to be using it. Um, it would dig into my back when I was riding in the car and if I would uh, slide it upwards or forwards it would dig into my hips so either way it would be too uncomfortable for me but the uh, the zero G plates are I think they're meant for more bigger guys you know, who have more real estate around their belt. Um, as you can see I'm as skinny as a twig so I'm the I'm about 5'11", uh, 140 pounds, so I do not have a lot of room on my belt to fit stuff, so the plates didn't really work out for me, but um, they might for you, so I would still try them out if you're interested in those uh, Zero-G plates. But anyway, getting onto the belt, um, as you can see, I've got a multitude of stuff on my uh, duty belt here. Just give you a quick 360. Now, uh, 511 offers uh, a multitude of pouches with the uh, Sierra Bravo uh, lineup. So this, this pouch is the uh, latex glove pouch. Here's the uh, mace pouch. And uh, right here is the uh, Sierra Bravo uh, radio pouch. So those are the Sierra Bravo pouches that come or that are um, made for this belt. Um, but of course you can use any pouch or, you know, accessory you want. Uh, so as you can see here, I've got uh, a little key holder thing. Here's one of the keepers. Just a key holder, one of those Bianchi ones. It's got, uh, this is my EDC key set right here, just a bunch of crap. But useful crap. Latex gloves. In case things get bloody. Tourniquet, this is a cat tourniquet on the 1110 uh, holster. This holster is kind of expensive, it was like 40 bucks, which is kind of ridiculous, but it works very well. It's got the, um, the tech lock uh, system on it, so that's pretty cool. And I like the high visibility uh, rescue orange. Here I've got the mace pouch. And I got the gel, not the spray. If you use the gel, it's a lot better. It's not going to come back at you in the wind and uh, piss everyone off, including yourself. So Dude, that's kind of hard to get that camera. Okay. Now for the back, I like to keep it flat. So when I'm riding in the car, nothing's... Um, you know, digging into my back and causing problems down the road. I don't know how some guys put handcuffs back here. That's just, that is uh, brutal. Here I've got uh, just a regular security officer uh, radio. I'm a security guard, so I don't, I'm not a cop, but uh, sure do look like a cop, don't I? <laughs> anyway, I got the uh, lapel mic. You can see there. So that works very well. And you got the bungee loop here. So that stays in. This is the, uh, what's it called? The Quick Cam Roto. I'll, I'll leave a link in the description. It's kind of a strange name. But this is a 360 degree holster here, which is pretty awesome. I got the idea from uh, one of the YouTubers, one of the cops, he's a, uh, I think his channel is called 694 or something. I'll, I'll leave it to, uh, a link. This is the Streamlight Stryon LED, the HL, the high lumen. So this is awesome when you're, you know, you can use this as a spotlight or behind you. If you're a cop on a traffic stop, you can use that. So for you know visibility, 
So that's really handy. As a security guard, that's one of the, the main things I use is my flashlight so I can get it out really easily. Keeper, and I got the uh, Safari Land uh, Nylon Look um, handcuff holster. I like these because you can get them out really, really easily. There's no fussing around with uh, buttons or anything. It's just nice and quick. A couple little keepers here for the uh, the belt, and it's got this very cool design, this slim belt, and this uh, the Sierra Bravo uh, inner belt is a little bit thick. Um, I was using the Safari Land inner belt, which is thinner, and uh, that seems to be more streamlined, but I just like to use the 511 stuff, so I'm kind of OCD like that. I just want the whole set. You know? And I have all the other multitude of Sierra Bravo pouches that, of course, I don't need, right? Because I'm not a cop, but... Yeah, anyway, and the pants I'm using, these are the uh, 511 Strike the NYPD blue strike pants. The difference with these is they have a large uh, memo pocket here. I've got a little notebook, so. Great pants, as you probably know, strike pants are one of the best. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. I guess that's it for now. Uh, I would highly recommend this, this uh, duty belt. It looks really professional. Looks better than all the other duty belts that my uh, co-workers wear. So I'm always, you know, the, the, uh, the high-tech gear guy around, you know, anywhere I go. But anyway, that's it for now. Uh, if you want another quick 360. All right, and that's all I got for now. Thanks for watching.